I'm living with the Crystal Palace scout, so why does he not bring me to Crystal Palace? Hi guys, did you expect my usual intro? Bonjour, guten Tag, what's up? Nah, I know you guys get bored of it, but you know what? Even in football or in other life situations, the key is to just keep doing, to just keep doing. No matter what other people think, oh, it's boring, how many times you want to do that again and everything. So, I just keep doing. And you guys already know what comes now. Bonjour, guten tag, what's up, bruv? Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. And guys, today we're going to play against Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. <laughs> and I just wrote the manager that, because to be honest, my groin is feeling much better. And at least I want to do the warm-up. So I wrote him, my groin is feeling much better. And I can do at least the warm-up if you want me to. But he just said, you know what, Brendan? He don't want me to be injured again. So I'm not considered for the squad today. And when I think of it, I think it's better. Because imagine I play and then my groin is not healed proper. And I'm going to be injured again. And nah, I don't want that. So that's why I think it's better if I don't play. Even... It's an amazing game today, but I think it's better to just rest. So I'm going to go with Matthias to see the match and I'm so looking forward to it. And also, there's an option for next week in another country, second division. So I might going to do that. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but as people are not proper helping me here in England, I have no option so man we will see but let's see the match <laughs> man those trains always late imagine i would play today and man i would come late Mamma mia, look how many people are waiting, literally. So we are on our way to the Chelsea match. And even that I would love to play, but man, health is going first. So imagine I play. I injure myself again and then I'm going to need to rest for like two, three, four weeks. So I don't want that, but we are going to enjoy that match. But Matt, what do you think of the game? How will it be? Are you looking forward to it? It will be a good game. It's against Chelsea. And do you think Chelsea is going to play like first team players as well? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? They're going to play for just on the 23. Young boys. <laughs> yeah, that's 17, true. 18. Man, this is so sad to watch those players you are training with playing against Chelsea and you are sitting here in the stand and watching them playing, but man, everything happens for a reason, so. That's true. Everything happens for a reason. Man. Nah, but you never know, you never know, you might be playing this game today and then. Uh, Get, like, yeah, that's true. So everything happens for a reason. So it has a it has a reason why I'm not playing. But man, Chelsea, what a great match it is. Oh my days. But they are coming. Thank you. 
Chelsea, they did so many mistakes, like so many passes, didn't receive like the other players, like I don't know, like it, 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 it seems to me like a man, it's just Chelsea, because they did so many mistakes, like easy passes, went just through to the sideline. You but, have to, you have to know that they, we just made one of the the, the, the player brother, and he was just explained to, to us like, it's a new team, they don't know each other properly, and then okay. for me, I think like they, they did very well. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Okay, um, but I know they mix because the only thing they need, they need someone like, uh, do you know what I mean? They need like someone like Hazard. Hazard, yeah. For me, they did very well. Trust me. Okay, but and also as new people are new to my channel, I still get so many messages. Matthias, him, he's a Crystal Palace scout, and I'm living with a Crystal Palace scout. So why does he not bring me to Crystal Palace? I think because of a simple reason, he's a youth scout. Are you? It's like, not about it's not about youth scout. It's not about youth scout. If you deserve Chris Palace, why well, no, I can speak to someone there. But for me, maybe you know, you don't deserve Chris Palace at the moment. Now I want you where you're doing, where you're playing now. I want I want you to prove to me like, listen, you can play for Chris Palace. That's my challenge with you. If you do that, yeah, that's my, true. my promise. I will make I will make you go to Palace. That's true. Crystal Palace they play Premier League though. But for that before I can play Premier League, man, I need to first of all to show in a good league that I deserve to play Premier League. But as well, how did we meet? We met uh, at at Burgess Hill. Exactly, like to tell you an, a funny story. Before I knew him. I was at Burgess Hill and before I came to England, I used to watch Emmanuel Adebayor's Snapchat stories where he was training and preparing for a new club. Ladies and gentlemen, we will soon be arriving at East Croydon. Change here for trains to London Bridge. So, and then in his stories, there were always 
this guy training with Adebayo and I was thinking who's that guy and then one and a half years later I meet him at Burgess Hill and he was there and somehow we get in contact and then I found out man he's one of the best friends of Adebayo and it was him actually in his videos and now I'm living with him this is unbelievable so that's why in life you never know Man, you never know. So always give 100% wherever you are. That's true. That's the thing, man. That's true. So we are back home and we won 1-0 against Chelsea. Wow. And to be honest, I was a bit disappointed because the way they played was not Chelsea-like. I thought the players, they are going to be much better than us, but not at all. And... They lost so many balls for no reason. So I was thinking, okay, but there were loads of players who are literally just 16 or 17. So they are still very, very young. And this match gave me a clear idea of what I want to achieve during my journey. I want to be a pro and I know I can be a pro. I can do that and I think now I know what I'm going to do because this club I'm trialing for, to say it again, is not professional and I want to play professional because last season I played already step seven and I know I can play higher so I don't want to waste my time and I don't know if the manager wants to sign me or not but I think I need to make a move to a higher club. I need to try it at least. I need to try it to play as high as possible. Because this club is in step six. Do I want to play in step six? No. I don't want to play in step six. And I know I can play higher. Either as a centre back or centre forward. I can do that. If England is not an option, I'm going to go to another country because now there's no time to waste. And I will try to get as many contacts that I can have. And if England doesn't work, I will go to another country because in other countries, it might be easier. Because here, obviously, I don't have so much contacts. I've met agents and they said they're going to help me, but where am I now? Nothing. Did I get a trial for another club, pro club? No. So I need to do it on my own because I never wait on other people. And I can't stop saying to you guys, never wait on other people, never rely on other people. And as I don't get the help that I would love to have, I need to do it on my own. So I'm thinking going to another country. It's all or nothing. I don't care. And as you guys know me, I don't care. But for that, I need to save first a bit of money and see how the situation here is. But then we can go from there. So let's talk in more action. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. And keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So Team Brandao, mm, I'll see you tomorrow.